Hello. So today we are going to discuss synthesis of fluoxetin. So basically, fluoxetin is what? It is non-tricyclic antidepressants. Right? We have seen that there is one category that is TCA, that is tricyclic antidepressants, and the another one is non-tricyclic antidepressant. So where it is non-tricyclic antidepressant, it means that there is a lack of fused tricyclic system. So basically, fluoxetine is uh, synthesized from the reactant that is acetophenone. Now, this acetophenone undergoes manic reactions in presence of formaldehyde. So that will produce is the structure one. So here you can correlate that acetophenone undergoes manic reaction in presence of uh, formaldehyde. So that will give us uh, formaldehyde and dimethylamine. So that will give us this structure one. So it is expected that this CH2 is coming from the formaldehyde and this moiety is coming from the dimethyl amine. So basically manic reaction involves the uh, addition of acetophenone, formaldehyde and dimethyl amine. So that all leads to the uh, reaction uh, that is called as manic reaction and gives structure one. So this structure one then undergoes reduction because in the structure we are observing that carbonyl group is present. So this carbonyl group undergoes reduction. So here there is a conversion of ketone into alcohol because reduction is what simple addition of hydrogen. So here that carbonyl group is present that will undergoes or that ketone is uh, converted into alcohol by reducing agent. Now, once we are getting that OH moiety in structure two that will be acted upon by chlorinating agent. So that chlorination can be done by PCL3, PCL5 or SOCL2. So specifically that structure 2 is acted upon by this chemical SOCL2. So here that OH is converted or replaced by Cl. So we are getting here chlorinated compound. So structure 2 undergoes chlorination that will give us structure 3. Now this structure 3 is acted upon by the structure or the chemical that is trifluorocarbon uh, phenol or para trifluorocarbon or para trifluoromethyl phenol. So here that is uh, the reaction because this, this we need as a side product in the structure of fluoxetine. So now here main parent chain we have prepared. Now we have to incorporate the side chain. So now here uh, there is a addition of this trifluoromethyl phenol into this structure three. So we are getting this structure four. So it is expected that this OH moiety that is going to attack here, right? and this will get eliminated. So ultimately by the loss of HCl, there is a, a introduction of this trifluoromethyl phenoxy moiety to this parent chain. So first what we have done, we have first synthesized the parent chain by the managed reaction and reduction. And then ultimately we have incorporated the side chain that is trifluoromethyl phenoxy substituent. And ultimately, then structure four we are getting that is acted upon by this uh, cyanide, bromocyanide as well as potassium hydroxide. So here that is simply the ND alkylation. So this bond will get breakdown. So we are getting here only monomethyl moiety, right? So that undergoes ND alkylation or ND methylation. So we are getting monomethyl moiety. So this is the structure of fluoxetine. So for fluoxetine first, we have synthesized this parent moiety this parent chain, then we have introduced this side chain, right? And then just ND alkylation or ND methylation. So which will lead to the final compound that is fluoxetine. So basically fluoxetine is what? It is non-tricyclic antidepressant. So acetophenone undergoes manic reaction that will produce a structure one. So there is a reduction of this ketonic group into alcohol moiety. Then there is a chlorination and then there is an addition of side chain that is trifluoromethyl phenol. And then ultimately there is ND methylation. So we are getting fluoxetine as the final product. 